Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about aggregate functions in SQL. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, let us first talk about what aggregate functions are. So in a simple definition, aggregate sum in simple words take values from multiple rows, group them according to the criteria and gives us a single output. We basically have five uh, aggregate functions in SQL, which is count, sum, average, min, and max. Although uh, these terms are very much self-explanatory, let us just um, consider a few examples and see how we can execute them. So, um, first I would like to show you the raw data that we have. Select star for, to select all the rows from our table salaries so i have already populated it with some test data let's see how our table exactly looks okay so we have our employer name the gender department in which they work and the salaries okay uh, notice here we also have a null salary like the intern is not being paid although that shouldn't happen but yeah let's see how it goes so um first we'll understand our count function okay what we'll do is we'll just write select i want to count the salaries how many salaries do we have number of salaries so i'll write count salary from salaries which is our table name right so um, all that I can clearly see there are six values for that let us see what we get we get five as an answer because when we are using the count function it will return us all the non null values right if you want to include the null values also what you will do is you will directly use count star okay let's run this and you will see that we have 6 as an answer because it has also included our null value here right also if you notice there are salaries of few people which are same so Sarah has 20,000 and Noel also has 20,000 while Alex and Sam are also having the same salaries so if you want to find distinct number of salaries you'll directly use the keyword distinct okay so this will give you the non repeated values that we have if you'll see we get the answer as 3 because 1 is 20,000 15,000 and 10,000 we are not going to use the repeated values and of course we are not considering the null value also right I hope this count function is clear now moving ahead we'll talk about the sum function that we have so it will give you the sum total of the particular field that we are going to calculate so let's find let's also again find some of the salaries I'll select select then we have our sum function sum what we are, do you want to get the sum of it is salary from our table name which is salaries okay let's run this we got the answer as 80,000 if you calculate you'll get 80,000 as an answer now here also if you want to find distinct non null values you can use the keyword distinct here and it will give you the non null value sum that is 45,000 and also it has excluded the values which are repeating which is the 20,000 and we have 15,000 these values are repeating so it has excluded the distinct keyword has excluded that right moving ahead we are going to talk about our next function which is the average function it is basically the division of sum of salaries and the count of salaries right so let me just directly change here instead of sum i'll use average okay 
you can use distinct or you can run directly right so we got the average salary as 16,000 moving ahead to our last set which is the min and max okay let me just make the changes directly in this particular query that we have so the minimum so the min uh, function will give us the salary accept the null value it will not give us the null value because otherwise it will always remain the same so we got minimum as 10,000 right it is very much clear and then we are going to execute our maximum let's run this and we got our maximum salary which is 20,000 right so uh, this was just a basic revision of our ex aggregate functions hope this was very much clear gear up for the upcoming sessions see you there